Good morning YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I want to just show you um, three little books that I've just purchased from Amazon. They're really cute and beautiful and the reason why I'm doing a flip through of them for you is that I'm going to do a colour with me video following later hopefully today or tomorrow. So let's start with this first little one. They're all in the same series and this is very nice colouring book. This is by Ellen Jackery and Nicole Percy. Now it says for kids of all ages, but I really liked the images in these books. It's just a little bit of fun at the moment. And I felt like, I don't know about you, but at the moment I'm stuck at home, going a little bit of stir crazy, have cabin fever. And I just thought it would be really nice to do something that sort of uplifts us a little bit. So let's have a look. It is all printed on Amazon paper. I think it's roughly about A4 size. <clears throat> and if we look, let me just show you the back before I start. It shows you all the characters that are going to be in the book. So it gives you an indication of how to colour them. So you've got Amanda, Mud Pie, Little Monica, Maxwell and Muzzy. And these characters all appear throughout this book. So the tutorial I thought I would do, or the colour with me rather than a tutorial, is this picture that, that comes in this book. So that will follow on. So it's, some, it's just really lovely images. And these, it says, Amanda, Mud Pie and Muzzy just chilling. Look at that. Laying on, looks like ice cubes to keep themselves cool. Let me see if I can bring you in rather than having to keep lifting up the page. There we go. <laughs> They're single sided sheets so you can use your markers. This one says feeder friends. So you've got the hummingbirds. And it says friends with Amanda. So that's little Amanda there with her hummingbirds and a bird feeder. This one's called Float Your Boat, and he's in his little nutshell. And this is Maxwell. I mean, what lovely images. How simple and beautiful just to lighten and brighten the day. This one's called Food, Folly and Fun. And this has got friends with Amanda and Monica in it. All the, nibbling at all those strawberries. I'm having a whale of a time. My Scream, and this is Mud Pie, Friend and Monica. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> it just made me smile and I thought I have to share this with you all. I'm going to move out slightly. There you go, a bit better. Um, Sunblock and Sand. And this is Mud Pie, Maxwell, Amanda and Monica. Monica's this little one down here. It's really cute. So he's applying his sunscreen. They've got their little cocktail umbrellas. Pink lepon Lemonade Pucker. <laughs> oh, Mud Pie and Maxwell again. Look at his little face. <laughs> this is called Concert in the Country. Maxwell, Amanda, Mudpie, Monica and Friends, it says. Another little cute one there. This little harmonica. And then 4th of July fun. Look at that. <laughs> and then this is the one I thought I would do a colour with me on in a minute. Sweet and sour treat. So Muzzy, Mud Pie, Amanda, Monica and Maxwell. And it's got all the little mice in there. So once I've figured out a colour sleep scheme for each mice, uh, each of the mice would be better. Um, I'll be able to stick to that and, and go throughout the, this book with it. So this is a lovely one. Look, Lazy Lily Pond Days. <laughs> so cute. Look at all the detail. I mean, they're tiny. But is it going to, yeah, look at that. Look at all the detail. It's slightly grayscale, so it gives you a really good, um, well, I wouldn't say it's grayscale, it's dotted where the shade should be. So that's going to be really helpful. Especially if you're finding fur 
difficult to colour it. It gives you that the look of fur without even having to try. So lovely lush lilacs. Keeping cool. <laughs> Weekly watermelon. <laughs> He's had so much to eat, look. Look at his little fat tummy. He's had so much to eat that he's fallen asleep on his. Okay. Popsicle paradise. <laughs> Chilling some shade. <laughs> And summer sweet scent. So there they are, climbing up little flowers. I think that's... Oh, no, one more. Splash free pool party, this one's called. Look at that. Turn the tap on and fill in a little can. There's a swimming pool. How cute. Okay. I will put the links to these in the description box below. So that's volume one, a very mice colouring book. They're all by the same um, artists. And then we've got volume one, Happy Hoppers. And these ones, instead of mice, are all little rabbits. So illustrated again by um, Elaine Oh, Ellen, sorry, Jackery. Okay, so let's have a look through this one. Same paper, printed on Amazon uh, paper. And we've got a little bunny and her teddy. It's called Huggable Baby Bunny. And then we've got, <laughs> look at this one, <laughs> Buzzy Bee Friends. Look. I won't keep lifting it up because it keeps going in and out of focus. And again on the back, you've got all the characters. So you've got Itty Bit, Hop It, and Bumble. Look how cute they are. So, this one's called A Beach Day for Bumble. He's in his little um, inflatable ring. This one's called Lil Fancy Pants. Rocking Rabbit Tails. <laughs> Rainy Day Friends. Tubby Bunny Bath. A Bush Fall for Bunny. Rising Rabbit, it's been pulled up by his balloons. Which one's the front cover? Oh no, it's different, this one. Okay. Um, oh, sleepy Head with his bottle of milk before bedtime. A basket full of bunny, that's really nice for Easter. This one says, Yarn Biting Bunny. Well, you wouldn't be very happy, would you? Halfway through your knitting and you chew through it. Bouncing baby bunnies on a scale. We all know that, those of us that have had children, and how difficult it is to get your babies weighed. Crafty critters again. He's in an Easter egg. And hopping Halloween happy hoppers. Jumping on the bed. Cross my heart. So he's doing his cross stitch for all you cross stitch colourers out there. One more. Oh, no, this one. Okay. Oh, some bunny loves you. How lovely is that? Oh, he's tucking into his chocolate. Baby bunny buggy. And that's it. So, I think I paid £3.70 something each for these books, but like I said, I will put the link to the 
Amazon page down below. And the last one is, oh no, we've done that one, I do apologise, is a very nice colouring book. <laughs> so these are all little bears in here. Let's find the first page. A very good bedtime story. Again, the characters on the back, let me have a look at that. Um, Buddha and Bigly. Pebble and Patch. Uh -oh. So this one is, it's very nice to share. Uh, celebrate life. Mmm, springtime smells. That's lovely. Looks like he's sniffing a lilac. Buried in paperwork. Baby blocks builder. Barely working. That's how we all feel, I think, at some points, isn't it? Um, very sweet dreams. Oh. Have a great holiday. So this is coming into Christmas then, this one. Hanging on for dear life. That's a nice one. <laughs> Sunflower days are here again. And that's the front cover there. So if you wanted to replicate those colours, you could. <clears throat> a very big celebration. <laughs> very full of truffles. This little bulgy tummy. <laughs> oh, little chip squeak. Oh, so he's looking under his magnifying glass at the little chipmunk. Pebble the party planner. Oh, this is a nice one. Make laundry day a fun day. Now, I like this one. I considered doing this one as well, but... I wanted to see how closely I can replicate the colours on the little mice one. And this one's called Red Roller Racing. I've got two pages in. Tea Gulping Gruffy. A Tower of Presents. Look at his little face. And bath time buddies. See his little rubber duck down here. <laughs> okay, and that's that. So, a very nice colouring book, a happy hoppers colouring book, and very mice. And I'm going to come back and do this for a colour along shortly or rather a colour with me. I'm not up to doing tutorials. So I'll see you all shortly. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves and see you soon. Bye.